says we're live. Okay. Hello, hello. Amanda here with Grammy's Crap Critique. Oh, you guys, I'm burning up. It is. Hi, Jace. How are you? Okay. Got it. Go back to the Mevo. Oh, my goodness. We just got up into the 80s today, and I am hot. I had to take Jack outside because I used my staple gun. And my brave, brave golden retriever is terrified of the staple gun sound. But I went ahead and got this on ahead of time so you wouldn't have to see me struggle bus. Because, you know, um, putting on signs is my, it's my favorite, really. Um, so this sign um, I got at Michael's last summer. It was in their summer shop. And I love picket fences. I mean, always every picket fence, love them. So um, I stapled two zip ties to the base and zip tied it in. Make sure you move your locks out of the way so it doesn't interfere with hanging it. And then up here, I wired it. So it's really on there. Woo! It's not going anywhere. And I went ahead and put on my door hanger too ahead of time i like for them to have um, a very specific hanger so that it hangs correctly let's see who's here i see some people i saw my friend jace and grammy should be hopping on sometime i know this is going to come as a shock but she was at the grocery store that woman is always at the grocery store or doing laundry it's like her laundry never ends, and apparently they all need food over there. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Penny. Chase, we're making a grapevine, and it's all it's all because of this ribbon from D. Stevens that I'm uh, I just think is the cutest, and I wanted to do something with it. It has dragonflies, butterflies, flowers. Um, it's stitched on the edges in like a really beautiful apple green, all the colors. I thought this was just really fun. And I thought it would be fun with my welcome to my garden sign. Because it's so bright and fun. Bright and fun. Hi, Georgie. Hey, how's everybody doing? I have to know. A Maybe because I'm getting older, but I need to know what the weather's like everywhere. I've noticed that my husband is very obsessed with weather. Uh, we talk about the weather. We go outside and we look at the weather. We discuss it. I'm like, oh, Grammy's doing pretty good. She, um, I was just saying, if that woman is not doing laundry, she's at the grocery store. And I think she just got back from the grocery store. Um, I'm very against grocery shopping. I use Instacart. So I'm going to angle you guys down this way so we can make a bow. Got my new, got my new lights here. Hoping they shed some light on the situation. It seems like no matter what I do in this room, um, it looks dark. It's cool. Ooh, it's cool in Shreveport, Louisiana. Penny had eye surgery again. Yes. How are you doing? You are in BR. Tell me what that means. Okay. So I'm looking at my wreath right now. I know I want shorter tails coming off to the right long tail coming off to the left okay
this is a really nice like um like a heavy satin from d stevens i'm gonna go out to about hmm oh wait i'm with the long tail on this side okay let's do the length of the board plus about nine inches oh baton rouge you louisiana people and your um your uh, abbreviations you always y'all we don't really say y'all up here but you all confuse me sometimes because uh, i was watching one of my friends um one of her lives and she said she's moving to la and i'm like oh my god you're moving to california and she's like no louisiana and i'm like ah <laughs> i knew that you were just tricking me tricking me baton rouge Judy says it's 80 in Indianapolis. Yeah, the Midwest is getting hit with some, we're getting hit with some warm temperatures, aren't we? Coming out to about seven. Making sure I got a nice loop. Nice loop. Yeah, we got up in the 80s and gosh, we live just east of St. Louis, Missouri. So we're right on the Mississippi and I'm telling you, it either gets hot or cold here. We have like a minute of spring and fall. We go, you know, we go straight into like crazy hot weather, super humid. Make sure those are even. Let's see. Do I want to do just one loop on each side? Let's do two. It's too cute not to do two. Yeah, we were just really, I mean, like, my husband and I were joking a couple nights ago. We were sitting on the porch, and I said, I said, you got to come out here on the porch with me because it's spring right now. And he was like, what do you mean? I said, it's spring right now. It's supposed to get hot tomorrow. And he's like, are you serious? So did you guys watch the eclipse at all? Um, I was late to the, the hubbub. I didn't get eclipse glasses or anything. I was walking mom and dad's dog when it happened. We were not in the path of totality. So it just kind of got like, it got like dusk outside. So two loops on each side. And then I'm just going to do, come out to about nine inches. Where's my scissors? Oh, my scissors. There they are. Oh, Judy says it was fantastic. Fantastic. my dovetail this ribbon is in our shop and I'm obsessed with it I think it's so cute oh darn it was raining and you couldn't see it well that stinks that darn rain I'm, I'm being a good doobie and I'm rolling this up and putting a pin in it I'm trying to be better about tidying up after myself because well because i'm the one that has to clean up after myself and i gotta tell you i'm not a very good housekeeper like um teresa put a post out one day and she was like i need a new housekeeper mine has a really bad attitude <laughs> i'm the housekeeper i'm like i get that so i'm using this d stevens pink this is like um a Dupion, it's one and a half inches. Hey, Teresa, how's my friend feeling? I bet she feels pretty good. She's sitting out at her lake lot. Dovetail that. 
And I think I am going to bring um, the paint down with the butterfly on the long side there. So I'm going to do the long tail on that side. So we've got two loops of our four inch. I think I'm going to do three of this paint. About six and a half, just a little bit shorter. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Teresa's always looking out for me. But that really does help, um, especially with Facebook's algorithm changing all the time and um, them only showing our content to a very small percentage. That's why I always encourage people to um, get our text messages because that's really the only way that I know of to know for sure that you know I'm going live or that we have a sale or something special. I don't, I really do not inundate you guys with text messages because I don't like it, so I wouldn't do it to you. Um, to this side shorter. And I am cutting them a little bit longer. It's always, better to do that. You can't add more on, but you can trim some off. I'm going to separate my loops. My bracelet just got caught on the ribbon. Um, so this bracelet, my husband got me for um, our anniversary, I think. I, the reason I don't know is because I have a birthday in December and then it's Christmas, and then our anniversary is in January. So he got me this really pretty bracelet, and we can't get it off. Um, kudos to whoever made this clasp, because it's legit. So normally I take all my jewelry off before I craft, so I don't snag or get glue in, in my rings or anything, but this one is like permanent jewelry. My mom and dad kind of thought I was exaggerating. So I was over at their house one evening and they were like, let me see that bracelet. I'll get that bracelet off. And they couldn't get it off either. moved the camera so that when we start working on the grapevine, you guys can hopefully see the grapevine better. So this one, we're not going to do the long tail with. We're going to do a short tail here. Twist. This is a gingham that we have in the shop that's super fun. It's got a little bit of shimmer on it. We're going to go a little bit shorter. Let's do like five inches on the yellow. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with all the changes. I'm going to cut the short tail. I'm going to bring this tail up and this tail down. And then I'm going to come back in with the yellow to do the center loop. Honestly, that is one reason why I think it's really important if you're um, a business owner, especially in e-commerce, um, you need to have a good business coach um, because I feel like it's important to have a place to ask questions. 
uh, with someone who has access to all the answers for you and um, a, you know, generally a place for um, just for help. And I mean, I would, I would love to have my own coaching group one day. Um, and just do tutorials on the things I make. But I'll be honest, you know, I, I've had a lot of you reach out to me to ask me questions about Etsy because, you know, we've had, um, you know, really a good, a good Etsy shop for a few years. Um, I'm happy to answer as many questions as I can, but there's so much that I don't know. I, I mean, I learn something every day, every day, every day. They lose your comments. Dang nabbit. Dang nabbit. Okay, so I've got two long zip ties. I hope these aren't the ones that keep breaking on me. I got some, I got a bad batch of zip ties from somewhere. So I start putting the zip tie on while it's still on the ribbon board. And then I lift it off and pull the zip tie around. I keep my thumb in the center on the top and my two fingers on either side in the back. Um, I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more. Yeah, these are not my favorite zip ties. And then I'm gonna slide the other zip tie through that we're going to use to put it on the wreath. Tighter. So I think I've told you guys, um, I'm sure I have, that we're getting a new golden retriever puppy. And Ace will be coming home on May the 4th. And Mom and Landon rode up to Rockford, Illinois with me to meet all the puppies and see which one, see which one bonded with me. It's funny. Um, Mr. Mr. Blue took to me right away. Um, here, I'll move you guys back up so you can see me talk about the puppy. Mr. Blue took to me right away. Mr. Brown took to Grammy. He was all up on her lap. And Mr. Red liked Landon. I mean, they were like, we were just kind of claiming us as their own. So, oh my gosh, Judy. I'll tell you what. Um, now that my nephew is a teenager, He's going through some stuff. He doesn't smile quite as much as he used to, and he doesn't talk quite as much as he used to, but I was just so happy to see him smiling and laughing and playing with those puppies because it reminded me of eight years ago when I got Jack, and Jack's mom had had 10 puppies, and her sister had just had 11. So we had 21 puppies to choose from. And at one point, Landon laid on the ground and all these puppies were just like kisses, kisses, kisses. And so that made me really happy. Turning around again. Okay. Trying to do this in a way so that you guys can see the grapevine and hopefully I'm not in your way, but I just don't know if that's possible for me personally, because I'm challenged when it comes to lighting and camera angles. I obviously was never going to be um, a director or a producer or a camera person. And I definitely was never going to be, um, a movie editor 
because I am still trying to figure out how to edit my videos. So I don't have it um, zipped down real tight yet. I'm kind of still moving it. There we go. Hold on one second. Hey, Scott. I didn't get a chance to feed Jack. I went ahead and went live at 430. And do the handful of new food, please. Thank you. Okay. Had to tell the hubby to feed Jack. Jack's doing really good, Georgie. He's such a good boy. I hope that um, when we bring Ace home, that he's um, that he bonds with him like like Milo and Jack did. Cause I was worried. Uh, Milo was, he was a bit older than Jack is right now when we brought Jack home. And um, Milo did really good. He, um, it was like he just took on a role as his teacher and um, they were really inseparable, um, especially toward the end when Milo wasn't doing so hot. Um, Jack never left his side. So we wanted to give Jack some time to be, you know, the only dog. Um, so I'm just kind of um pleading that together figuring out where i want that to come down to right about there of course my lip oh here they are sorry if my head's like right in the way i'm just gonna grab a couple little pieces of the grapevine I mean, I do think that Jack has thoroughly enjoyed being the, the boss, so to speak. The, and these are too long, but I'll trim them up. And that's too long. I'll trim that one up too. Um, yeah, I think he's thoroughly enjoyed being the the only dog of the house for a while, but uh, this will be good for him. Um, maybe even give him some some energy because he's gotten pretty lazy. He has gotten pretty lazy. Okay, so got the bow in. I love that yellow with a little tiny bit of shimmer. It's not too much, but it's fun. Okay, so I've got a couple picks I want to use. This one is PM2931. Um, we've got this in the shop. It's been a huge seller. Um, I've reordered it a couple times. I think because of the just the fun coloring. You get us a, a little sunflower. You get some purple, some fuchsia, yellow. This is more of a red, but we're going to go ahead and use it. We are going to add some other filler flowers, but um, I really like this one. In fact, 
might put some of my greenery in first. This is a fishtail fern. I get this from Kali. Uh, there's a few places that they, there are some vendors that I still haven't ordered from that have some stuff that I really love, but your order has to be pretty massive. And, um, you know, even though, you know, our shop has blessed us the last few years, um, I'm not I'm just not ready to place an order quite that size. And I don't have room for all of it yet. So what I like about this one is you can use it like this or you can push them up to make up more full. And I try to be, try to be gentle. My hubby and his friend are moving some shelves into Scott's room. He's got a music room now, so he's pretty excited. Sorry, this is boring. I'm just pushing some of the greenery further up just to make it a little more full. I'm going to do like three pieces, push it up really far, and then the rest of them I'm going to leave longer. So it was a little bit emotional for me because Landon used to stay with me all the time, but we... Um, have transitioned Landon's old room into Scott's music room. Um, he needed a place to um, he needed a place to price records for his record shows, and um, he does record shows and he does a flea market and. Um, and he also needed a place to listen to his records too, um, put a turntable. Um, he and my dad are both uh, huge music lovers and they both collect vinyl. So that's, that's a big uh, bonding thing for my husband and my dad. They're, they're good buddies. pieces in up here. Put some down around there. And I'm pushing this one up a little bit. Not a ton. So I hadn't had my hair cut since before COVID. <laughs> um, so yesterday I went and I got a haircut and, um, you know, I had been talking to mom about like what I wanted and what should I do? And what shouldn't I do? Cause my hair was just long. It was just long and it's naturally curly. And, um, so of course, you know, I went to Pinterest and, I was trying to figure out, you know, I didn't know if like bangs were still a thing or if bangs are like a no-no right now, or if women over 40 can have long hair. Because some people, some people say, oh, women, women of a certain age shouldn't have long hair. So the girl that I got into at the salon in town um, was 19 years old. I showed her the pictures from Pinterest and she said, you can absolutely have your hair as long as you want. And I said, well, in that case, I don't want to really lose any length. I'm going to come behind the bow with this one. I don't want, I don't want to lose any length, but I need more, I need more style essentially like, um, you know, I feel like I've been in a ponytail since COVID. And she was like, no, I totally get it. 
um, well, she cut, um, pardon my roots. I haven't, um, touched up my roots, but she, she really, um, she really cut on my hair. She thinned it out. She said, you have a lot of hair. I'm going to thin it out. I'm going to layer it. Um, I'm going to give you some side swept bangs. Um, when I left, I text my husband and I said, okay, I'm not going to cry, but I look like Farrah Fawcett from 1975. And he wrote back, he said, honey, I love that. I had a picture of Farrah on my wall when I was a kid. <laughs> so I was like, well, okay. Shelly's got long hair down to her tushy. Jackie says, I don't follow trends. I go with what flatters my face. Yes. That is very, very wise. Um, so we did have a thing to go to yesterday. Uh, my friend Shannon had um, a little get together. Uh, she really hadn't seen many of her friends because um, her dad has been sick. And, um, and I, I got a lot of compliments, but you see what I'm doing now, right? Bobby pins, cause bangs, I've been working in the yard and, uh, bangs get in your face. They get in your way. So I brought two of these with me and they split up into three sections. So I'm just going to tear them and get my three sections and I'm gonna make sure I fluff, fluff, fluff. When I say fluff, I mean touch every single leaf, every flower, every branch, um, and really make sure that like you're getting the most out of your piece. Come up here. Yeah, I think that you guys are right. I mean, um, I don't ever know what's trendy with hair because I grew up with Mimi. Um, my mom's mom, um, uh, we just lost her a couple years ago. She was a beautician and she was a beautician for many years and she felt very strongly about having a timeless haircut. Um, something that, you know, when you look, when you look back at pictures of yourself, you're not going to be like, Oh, what did I do? You know? And it's funny because I was in school in the eighties and nineties and, you know, we had big, big hair, right? Um, but my mom and my grandma would never let me wear my hair like that. And back then it was like, why are you ruining my life? Why can't I wear my hair big and hairsprayed? And, and like when I got my senior pictures, um, my grandma, uh, she curled my hair and she pulled my bangs down straight. She said, you're going to thank me years from now when you see your senior picture and you're not making fun of yourself for having that giant hair sticking up hairspray. And I'm like, okay. And I kind of get that now. Cause like I'll see a picture or somebody will post a picture from high school or something. And they'll be like, Oh my God, Amanda, yeah, um, you still have beautiful hair or you look just the same. And I think it's because they never, they never let me, um, go too, too strong with the trends. I mean, you know, they always make sure I had cute clothes to wear to school and stuff like that. But 
Shelly misses Grammy. Oh, there's Grammy. She's going to be here for a little while. Well, tell me what you're doing. Are you busy? I told everybody that you were, um, and this is the second one of that, that pick we have. It's PM2931. I told everyone that you were at the store and doing laundry, like, like always. She does end up with um, a ton of laundry. And I'm like, how do you guys end up with so much laundry? I'm just over here fluffing a piece of this flower. That's why you can't see me. Yeah, I'm back. Going back here in between those two pieces of fern. I love all these colors. It just looks like happiness. Happy wreath. Happy door. Then this one a little bit. Come on, little stubborn. Little stubborn. So let's see, I told you about my haircut and well, I, I will say I was a little bit nervous because um, I asked her how long she'd been cutting hair and she said, um, not real long. And I was like, okay. So I said, uh, if you don't mind me asking, um, how old are you? You look super young. And she was like, oh, thanks, I'm 19. So I was like, okay, well, it's cause she is super young. And, um, so, like, I'm not a genius at math, but um, she hasn't been out of high school that long. So, I was thinking, I don't know how long beauty school is, but um, this gal's uh, hot off the press. Uh, but I think, I think she did a nice job. It did make me a little nervous when she told me. She's like, I'm really not used to dealing with hair like yours. And I was like, um, oh, um, you know, I was kind of like, what, what's that mean? And she said, well, it's really long and it's thick and it's, it's got a lot of curl. And I said, yes, yes, it does. But ever since Mimi got um, older and her arthritis got worse, she couldn't do all of our hair anymore. And I think honestly for me and mom, that's been, that's been a struggle because we've been in constant search of um, someone who can do our hair. Come in down this way with this one. Got to swirl clockwise so that paper doesn't come off when you're swirling. Lift those up and make sure you're sliding in to the wreath, not straight in, but like, here's the wreath. You're going in this way in between the branches. Um, so that glue has a lot of uh, contact. You don't wanna poke your stems straight in. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure what kind of hair she's used to. Um, I will say there were a lot of more mature ladies there that were getting um, their hair trimmed and then put in rollers and like tight, um, like teased and, and set. So I don't know if she's used to doing that. She said on Saturdays, she has a lot of ladies that come in and they get their hair done for the week because they're um, getting ready for church. So um, I'm not sure, but I mean, she, she did a really nice job. Mom's teasing me about how I have my bangs pinned back. 
um, you should have seen me earlier. I, I took one of Jack's extra bandanas because I always have a bandana around his neck. So I found one of his extra bandanas. It was clean and I rolled it up and I made a headband for myself to push my bangs back because I was working out in the yard. And so I have these. I love them. I, I got these from Kali. And I love that there's a little pop of turquoise in that sign. So I've been toying with the idea of putting a couple of these in. So let's just put them in without glue first and see, see what we think. Oh, hi, Linda. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Yeah, I know. I have got to commit myself to a regular life schedule because I am very easily distracted by other things that I that I should do or I could do or I need to do. Um, Man, that, that's a big bloom. And I need to, um, I just need to do what I do uh, for work. I mean, I put my, I put my work hours on my calendar. So I need to put my live schedule on a calendar and then share it. I can honestly say this is one of the grumpiest grapevines I've ever worked with. I got this one at Michael's because it was like everyone was sold out. And it's real loose in, in some spots. And it's woven really, really tight in others. Kind of makes me mad. Let's just put this one down here. Yes, I am, Debbie. Oh, don't let curiosity kill you. It's just, it's about signs. Mom and I cleaned out a lot of um, the signs in the shop that um, were either older designs or had never sold. Um, so that's all, just nothing exciting. Um, I got to stand back and look at that. Teddy. Now, Teddy, you're old enough to know better, you little stinker. Um, Penny, I get him on May 4th. I got to stand over here and look at this. You know what? I... Honestly, think these are too big for for this particular look. Um, I love the turquoise, but I think I'm gonna go in with. I, I like this wildflower look, especially um, with the garden sign. So I think I'm gonna. Um, stick with that and I'm just going to go in with some filler flowers. I got these from Kali also because she gets these from one of those places I haven't been able to order from yet. Not, not that I'm sad about it, but I am. A Grammy can't see comments. Well, Did you break the internet? Now, this one from Kali is number 61708. And I like it because it has some little flowers, some nice little filler flowers. It also has some greenery and some twigs. But I'm really pulling this apart 
shaping it because these are these are packed fruity tight. I did have somebody on Etsy complain that she got her florals and her greenery and it, they didn't look anything like the picture. She said they were all packed in, um, she was like, they're packed in bubble wrap, which I mean, my dad does that. He packs everything super nice. Um, they're packed in bubble wrap and they're in a clear cellophane sleeve. <sighs> And that's how they come. You got to fluff them. Uh, Shelly said, go over to top comments, mom. See if anything comes up if you do that. So this one comes apart in some sections. But there's a lot of little pieces here. So let me... Let me study this for a second because I feel like this this has potential to completely fall apart on me. It's paper wrapped, so they are wrapped together, but okay, I think I see where I tear it apart. And I'm giving these little flowers like a curve so they're not straight, super straight. And then when I have twigs, I, I just wrap them around my finger and give them like a twist. Oh, I don't know if Jace is still here, but Jace, if you're listening, I did trim my hydrangeas. I, um, I did a little bit more research online and um, yeah, they were dead. There was no green in those, um, in those stems. So they were dead. So I got those cleaned up today too. Twirl it. Oh, you're going to go cook? Okay, let me know when I should come over and eat. My mom is so good. She she actually cooks sometimes. I, I'm going to move this out of the way and go more to the inside here. And then I'm going to put my finger in the hot glue. So we're going to manipulate a little bit, bring some of the greenery and twigs over on this side. I don't know if you guys can hear my husband and his friend. They have not stopped talking. They are talkers. I often wonder um, when my husband's with my dad, like, how does anybody get, how did, how did they have a conversation? Because they're both talkers, too. Yeah, mom's really good about um, fixing stuff. I mean, she'll make stew or she'll make roast. Um, she's got a couple of things she does in the crock pot. I am, I'm just terrible. I asked my husband one time, I'm like, 
are you ever sad that you didn't marry a woman that cooks? And he's like, well, no, I married you. <laughs> and I love you. He's like, you know, it is what it is. Oh, those sweet little and those beads popping up. I think that's cute. I think that's cute. So I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to fold it up. Because this doesn't really like to be dovetailed the four inch, especially if you've got like a satin. So I'm just going to roll it a couple times. Push it down. It's got a nice wire. Give it a little, little weight there. This one I am going to trim a little shorter. do the same thing to this one. Um, I'm going to cut it straight across and fold it over too. Are you guys watching Resident Alien? It's like me and mom's favorite show and he just did the season finale the, uh, last week and I'm so bummed. And I think we have a cute summer wreath. Ah! So he cooked while you had COVID and he turned out to be a pretty darn good cook. Well, hey. I think Scott could be, oh, this is heavy with that sign on it. I think that turned out real fun. I love all the color. I love color. Summer makes me happy. Seeing the tulips pop up, oh, makes me happy. Sometimes you gotta do a little manipulation when you when you do the the ribbon like that, you know, kind of you want a little bit come into the inside, but you don't wanna completely cover your sign. Get a little more hype on these guys. Got some color down here. I like it. Okay, guys. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Shelly. I think it's fun. I've been wanting to make a wreath with that um, darn picket fence for a while. So I think it turned out cute. I like to come over my sign a little bit or whatever it is, um, whether it's a sign or a wreath attachment, um, I like to come over it a little bit, um, go over the border. So it doesn't just look like, um, like, oh, well, here's a random element over here. And then here's some flowers and a bow. You know, I, I know what I'm trying to say, but um, I hope I said it correctly. So I think that's it for me today. But thank you so much for joining and blessing my live. And um, if you don't already, uh, do get our, um, I have our phone number pinned. Um, do uh, type hello to that phone number. I think it'll ask you if you want to accept text messages um, to opt in and you just say yes. Um, 
I don't send you text messages constantly. In fact, sometimes I forget to send you text messages when I'm supposed to, but I'm getting better. So um, I send them out when I go live. I send them out if we're having any kind of special, a sale event, um, anything like that, or if it's your birthday. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for being with me today. I'll see you soon.